What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Deconstructing Hip Hop, the show where geek meets ghetto, aka the show where we break down classic hip hop beats using modern day music production tools. Now, this uh, being uh, the catch up episode for the one that I missed over the last couple of weeks, I uh, didn't have the opportunity to put in uh, as much time as I would have liked to on uh, today's track, which is Camp Lowe's Lucini. Um, I think I came pretty darn close to it, uh, but you will have a, a chance to hear ex what I did. Now, part of the reason that I chose this track was because I am a fan of Ski Beats. Um, I first heard of him on Original Flavor, like most people, and the first Original Flavor track I heard was Can I Get Open. Uh, that's where I first heard of a, of, a, of a rapper you might have heard called Jay-Z. Now, I do know that wasn't his first major record. But um, back then, I didn't really have access to hip-hop the way that I do now. So, yeah, that was the first time I heard of the brother. But um, that being said, a lot of people had asked me to do uh, Dead Presidents. And I was more than happy to do Dead Presidents. However, um, Ski himself did a deconstructing video a couple years ago on Dead Presidents. And how could I top that? I mean, the video quality isn't the greatest, but the man is showing you on the exact same gear that he produced the music on. I mean, and if you do follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you would have gotten a link to the video way back when I linked to it. But anyways, uh, for this track, I do believe he used an uh, Emu SP-1200 um, in tandem with another uh, uh, device. Again, probably like I said in the Tribe video, uh, an Akai S900 or S950. Um, I think that's what he did do for Dead Presidents, or he maybe just kept it in the SP1200. I don't really recall. But if that was the man's kit when he uh, did uh, Dead Presidents and Lucini dropped in 97, yeah, I was a senior in high school. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he produced it on the same equipment. So yeah, uh, I, I do not have an SP-1200. Uh, just like in the last video, I used Machine as a plugin inside of uh, Apple's Logic Pro. And the sound came out pretty good. I actually do have the uh, same snare that was in the song. And it's the, that was the same snare that was used in uh, Monifa's... Uh, first single with Heavy D. Um, I forget what it's called, but um, yeah, look it up, Google it, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. I just had to uh, do a couple of things, and I got, I got pretty close to the sound that they got, but yeah, um, if you guys think that I missed something, let me know, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Just listen, and uh, let a brother know what you think, all right? Yeah, man, so let's get to talking about this sample. Now, for this track, Ski uh, used a straight loop from Dynasty's Adventures in the Land of Music. And he did do uh, a, a little bit of filtering. He separated the high frequencies from the low frequencies, um, most likely on an SP-1200. And uh, I mean, I'll, I'll let you know what I mean in a sec. Now have a listen to the original untouched sample over here. Now aside from doing the filtering that I mentioned, he also pitched it up a little bit. And again, I'm talking over the sample because I am not about to get this video flagged on YouTube by the copyright police. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's head on over to uh, Logic because I use Machine as a, a VST plugin up inside of Logic to uh, get this track going. And I did that in my last video and uh, I like the way the workflow uh, came out for me. I did the initial sampling and arranging in Machine as a standalone unit. And then I loaded it up as a VST here in Logic, simply because um, it's just a lot easier to route things around. I could have done um, all the mixing of the drums and adjusted the levels individually in Machine. And as much as I love having actual knobs to turn to adjust volume, it's just way easier for me to do so in Logic. So yeah, the first thing I did was mess with the sample. Now, like I said, I separate, excuse me, Ski had separated the high frequencies from the low frequencies using uh, what I believe are the SB1200's built-in filters. So here are the highs as uh, I, I adjusted them. I also raised the pitch. Now, over here, I did use Machine's Lo-Fi plugin. All right, turned a couple of knobs. And then when I routed it over here to Logic, I used the uh, spread uh, effect 
just to give it a little more of a stereo sound, all right? Um, even though it originally is a stereo sample, I just found that messing with it with the uh, spread uh, filter or whatever, plug-in, whatever you want to call it, actually worked out well. Now the drums, I swear, this is the same drum, uh, I should say the snare, it was the same one used in uh, Monifa's first single, the one with Heavy D, whose name I really just cannot remember right now. But um, yeah, so as soon as I heard it, I'm like, you know what, let me just uh, cue up that old Monifa song, and I just boosted the drums from there. Here's the snare. Now I tried my best to get it sounding like uh, how Ski did it, and um, not exactly a one-to-one -one match, but um, I think I can get close enough. Here's the, the kick. And the, uh, the uh, hi-hat, I did end up taking from Machine Sample Library. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I adjusted uh, the levels and filtered and EQ'd, I should say, the uh, individual drum elements to the best of my ability. And uh, it came out with an acceptable sound. All right, now the only other element to this beat comes in the form of two notes that are played on some sort of keyboard preset. Now, um, I was just looking through my library. I wasn't gonna kill myself trying to match that one little, that one, that one particular sound. Um, and uh, what I pretty much did was I used a uh, electronic piano, actually a Wurlitzer preset on uh, one of the uh, sample libraries built into Logic and pretty much just did this. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's uh, just like I said, a standard Wurlitzer uh, preset right there. And that's it. The arrangement was done here in Machine, piped it on over here to Logic, did some routing. I cheated a little bit. I put uh, the limiter on, lowered it. Yeah, uh, you might see some clipping over here, but you won't hear it over there. It's not perfect, but more or less, uh, it sounds good enough. It sounds passable, and it sounds just different enough that the uh, sample will not get flagged as if it was the original instrumental, like YouTube decided to do with my first video with Rob Bass's uh, It Takes Two. That being said, as always, have a listen critique my technique if you feel so inclined to do so and uh, let me know shout me out in the comments or uh, hit me up on twitter and uh, just give a brother a shout out all right Not too bad if I must say so myself. Um, I didn't get it 100% perfect, but that's never gonna happen. Actually, let me rephrase that. That's rarely going to happen. I mean, it's possible. Um, you know, I'm pretty good sometimes. Yeah, no, let me stop uh, feeling myself. <laughs> Anyways, uh, please, like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash deconstructing hip hop or uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash deconstructing hip hop. In fact, do both. Why? Um, it makes me feel good and it makes me happy. And you like it when I'm happy. Or actually, I like it when I'm happy. I'm way too caffeinated and I'm rambling. Um, also, you can find um, our Twitter feed, the show's Twitter feed, I should say, at twitter.com slash deconhiphop. And you should follow that, um, not just because I said so, but uh, because I do post links, not just to new episodes, but a lot of times I will just post uh, links to, I think, uh, relevant and important hip hop things, whether it's history about certain uh, key figures or um, videos to um, certain equipment or maybe even songs that were sampled. And maybe I'll ask you guys to guess which, uh, which songs uh, sampled that. Or you could follow me personally at twitter.com slash rogergill79. Just be, know, just be aware that you will get some mental health stuff, given that I am a therapist by trade. So yeah, 
Um, the next track is already in the works. And uh, until then, I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.